Hello everyone, this is your Professor Oz John. Today I'm gonna, uh, in this tutorial, I am going to create a web page, dynamic web page, that uh, can insert data into database and also read data from database and create a table, HTML table, based on the data it reads. Uh, it's gonna be really cool and this is going to help you with your projects. Okay? So let's start by creating a file with the basic HTML structure. So here I got the title here, which is PHP MySQL. It's just for you know for the tab to say what we're doing in case you forget. Uh, let's save this. I'm gonna save this under under my HD docs. Remember, this is under XAMPP. And if you're using a VAMP, uh, you know, on Windows machine, then you have the C and then slash uh, vamp slash www file folder. Now here, a, under XAMPP htdocs, I created a phpdb example and I'm going to say um, fitness.php. I'm going to be doing a fitness app. So let's save this. Now first, I'm going to create some, I'm going to create a form so that I could actually submit that form online. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to start with a field set to make sure my form is taking place in some nice rectangle. Inside the field set, I'm going to enter my legend. Say, my fitness app. Now I can add the form, finally. And it's my habit, I always, as soon as I open a tag, I also close it right away, so I don't forget to close any tags later. So our method is going to be post, and then the action is going to be the same page, so it's going to be fitness.php. Uh, this is up to you, you can use a different page, but I'm going to keep things simple, and it's going to point out to this page. Now, um, I'm going to add some label. So this app is going to be a really simple app. It's going to um, save to database what's the date and what are the meals I ate. And then if there's a workout I did. And that, that's basically it. That's just a simple app to show you how to create this uh, interaction with the PHP and my SQL label let's say input type is going to be date so this is going to be our date okay and name is going to be date workout and let's close this tag let's put a break tag here so I'm gonna for the sake of time I'm just gonna copy paste things and fix them so this is going to be my meal one or first meal. Okay, and I'm going to change the name. Remember, we were accessing these input tags data in PHP using the name. So I'm going to change this to meal one later in the post. That's how I'm going to access that. Let's create a second meal. That's going to be meal two. And maybe third meal. That's OK. Two meals is fine. You will get the idea with two meals. And then uh, let's say I want to add some type of workout. So um, let's say workout is going to be, uh, by the way, these types are going to be text, text, text. Uh, except workout, sorry. The workout type is going to be radio because I'm going to choose from a bunch of different workouts, right? And the name is going to be resistance workout. And, and then I'm going to add some more options. So the first one's.
first one's value is going to be, uh, for example, push-ups. Okay, and uh, second one will be pull-ups. And then third one is going to be maybe uh, weights. Okay, so three types of workout here, and um, they're all radio buttons. Okay, so you can choose only one here. Then maybe I will also have a cardio workout label. So this one is going to be resistance. Workout and label cardio workout. So label and label, close the label. Now I am going to add a drop down here because I want to be able to choose from the drop down just for a change. And let's name this cardio. And this one I'm just going to name resistance because it's too long. Okay, select cardio, and as you know, the select element has options in it. Option with value. Uh, for example, maybe jogging. You might like jogging. Personally, I'm not a big jogger. I don't like it that much. And instead, I do different types of cardio. Option. Gets boring. You run, run, run. And nothing is changing. Value, second one is going to be maybe rowing. You know, some, some rowing machine. Uh, that's, that's better. You can watch TV or something. And then the third one is going to be... Can be maybe elliptical machine. Okay. Elliptical call option okay so so far we have a drop down we have radio buttons and we have two text text input fields and a date input field now we are missing a we are missing one uh, let's say submit button so let's add a submit button. The type has to be submit value is also submit. Okay, now let's see our site in action. Fitness.php. Okay, so local host. This is my uh, PHP Apache directory, localhost. It's going to be the same for you. Localhost phpdb slash fitness.php. So, yeah, it looks good so far. We have the calendar working. We have the meals and, and the um, drop down. Let's also add a add some break tags to here, maybe just one. So let's see now. Yeah, it's better. Uh, we forgot to put the names for for the um, for the resistance workout, so Push ups, pull ups, and the last one is weights. Okay, now currently this is still a static page. There's nothing going on here. Uh, I want to create a database for this, so I'm going to go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin. 
Uh, let's create a new database and call this um, health or, or maybe let's call this um, healthy DB. I don't know, you keep your health related information here. So create. Now how many columns do we need to add? Let's see. One for the date, one for the first meal, one for the second meal, three, four, five. We're gonna add five plus an ID, six columns. Six columns, and let's call this uh, fitness table. So this is the name of the table, and we got six columns, and let's let's go for it. Now, first one is going to be ID, integer, this is going to be our primary key. And choose index primary. Make sure AI is checked. It refers to auto increment so you don't have to add the uh, change the ID every time you insert a value. The second one is going to be the um, let's see date date workout date the type is going to be watcher say 50 characters and then the third one is going to be meal one first meal char 50 second meal And the third meal is going to be not there's no third meal, there's resistance workout. So resistance workout. And cardio workout. Now let's create the table. Please enter valid length. Yeah, because I forgot to enter the valid length. Let's see. Nice. So this is our database table for now. Okay. Now let's go back to our code. At this point, I need to start adding some PHP, and I'm gonna see how to. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect the database. So, at the beginning of the page, start your PHP tags. So we're gonna add the server side code. Now, in order to be able to connect to your database, you need to have a username. If this is this should be localhost because we are using our local servers. Okay, localhost or maybe 27.0.0.1. This is also uh, the same thing as localhost. Okay, this is the IP for your own machine. Secondly, sorry, this is going to be server name. The second thing is going to be username. If you haven't changed it, it should be root. If you changed it, uh, then add whatever username you're using. Third one is going to be password. Now, um, I don't know if you do. If you don't, if you didn't change your password, if you didn't add a password, you don't have a password. But if you did, then put your password. This is my password. I'm going to change it after this video, but that's how I access. So you're going to need this credential. So, and the last one is going to be database name. And database name. Uh, let's check out what did we name our database. Healthy DB. So that's going to be healthy slash DB. Okay. Now let's save this. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to connect to the database. So I'm going to create a variable called connection and I'm going to use MySQL I connect function to connect to this database using these parameters server name username 
Okay, and then and then the password. And then the DB name. So first thing is first we need to check if the connection is really established. And to check that, if connection not means the connection does not exist, then die. So we're killing the attempt for connection. Connection failed. Cone connection error. Okay. And now let's see. There's no problem because uh, I tested it before. This connection works for me. So this is the end for the first video. In the second video, I'm going to show you how to insert things. And in the third video, we're going to uh, retrieve things from the database and print them out nicely in a table.